Hello everyone, my name is Greg and today we're we'll going to be talking about class synergy. What class synergy means is optimizing your loadout for the most optimal gameplay experience. We are going to begin by going over the gunsmith. First things first, let's get familiar with the base stats of the weapon. You can generally get an idea of how the weapon will perform based off of the stat bars. It should be noted that the stat bars are not an accurate representation of hard-coded stats, but it should give you an idea of how a weapon is going to perform in-game. There are many attachments in the game, and each have their pros and cons. When we are going to build this M4A1, we are going to try to optimize it based off its strengths and weaknesses. The M4A1 is overall a very versatile weapon, but before we try to optimize it, we should have a look at the weapon's recoil pattern. As we can see, the M4A1 has a vertical recoil pattern that kicks to the right. This is a consistent pattern that you can learn to control over time. Our first attachment for this build is the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. The pros for this barrel include damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. In return, we lose a little bit of aim down sight speed as well as our overall movement speed. The second attachment is the Compensator. The pro for this attachment is recoil control. In return, we have two cons, which include aim down sight speed and aiming stability. The Commando Foregrip is a solid option to help mitigate horizontal recoil. This will help make the recoil pattern easier to control with more consistency. The pros include recoil stabilization, aiming stability, and our only con is a slight reduction to our movement speed. Stippled grip tape is a popular choice for aggressive play. It also benefits your aim down sight speed. Overall, you can never go wrong with this attachment. It is highly recommended for use to keep competitive in-game. The ForgeTac CQS stock is a great option to speed up our aim down sight speed. This attachment pairs up well with counteracting some of the aim down sight speed we lost with the Corvus Barrel and the Compensator. And there we have it, our final build on the M4A1. This build is meant to cover close quarters as well as mid-range engagements. The M4A1 is not a weapon meant for picking people off at long range when using the 5.56 ammo, so keep your engagements within 50 meters. If the gunsmith was the meat, the perks would be the potatoes. While every perk is useful, you can capitalize on your usefulness when pairing together perks that have good synergy. You can also fine-tune your perk selection based on how synergistic they will be with your playstyle. Are you looking to have a great opening rush route for map control? Consider using double time for a double duration of tactical sprint. Add a high alert to notify you if anyone sees you going to your position. Tune up is a great option if you are running dead silence considering you will want to get to your position undetected. If you want to hold an area, consider using EOD so people cannot kill you with a single explosive. Battle hardened is another great choice for holding positions considering tactical grenades will have less of an effect on you ensuring that you can hold your ground. Pairing this with restock will allow you to keep a good supply of lethal and tactical equipment to fortify your position. Do you want to stay resupplied as much as possible? Scavenger will allow you to resupply ammo from enemies you kill with bullet damage. Restock will ensure you have a steady supply of lethal and tactical equipment, and Shrapnel will allow you to carry an extra lethal piece of equipment. This will also delay enemies' health regeneration when they take damage from your lethal equipment. Stealth can be a great option if you are putting a suppressor on your gun. Cold-Blooded will give you better resistance from those pesky thermal users. Ghost will keep you hidden from enemy UAVs, personal radars, and heartbeat sensors. Please know that Ghost will not protect you from the advanced UAV. It only removes your direction. However, this is actually a nerf to you while the enemy advanced UAV is in the air because they will be able to understand what floor of a building you are on when direction is removed. Spotter can help protect you as you flank, making sure that you know where enemy claymores and proximity mines are. You can also hack them if you'd like so you can turn them against the enemy. Need more firepower for your team? Kill Chain will allow kill streaks to earn you more kill streaks. Hardline will reduce the cost of kill streaks by one kill, and Spotter will again allow you to see enemy claymores and proximity mines. If aggression is a must, consider Quick Fix. This perk allows you to regenerate health upon killing an enemy. You also regenerate health while playing the objective. High Alert can let you know where enemies are looking at you, allowing you to understand where you need to position yourself. Tracker will hide enemy skulls upon killing an enemy, concealing your location. You will also see a trail of footprints if an enemy was nearby, allowing you to get an edge on your opponent.
There are three categories of lethal equipment, objective, denial of entry, and defense. Objective equipment includes Semtex, Frags, Throwing Knives, and C4. Denial of entry includes Molotovs and Thermite. Defense includes Claymores and Proximity Mines. Objective equipment can help you get people off power positions near objectives, denial of entry equipment can keep enemies off objectives and block off pathways, and defensive equipment can protect your back or ambush flankers. Your choice of a tactical equipment is up to you. Stun, flash, and gas are all to slow your enemies down. Stim shots are good when combined with EOD, allowing you to instantly regenerate health after taking explosive damage. Decoy grenades are very useful whenever the enemies are using an advanced UAV since you aren't protected from this kill streak. Using decoy grenades can add fake enemies to the enemy's minimap, thus countering the advanced UAV. The heartbeat sensor is much better in Warzone than it is multiplayer, but it can be useful in tactical modes like search and destroy where there is much less UAV spam. Smokes can block off lines of sight and help you maneuver the map. Snapshot grenades are best, per best paired with the FMJ perk for a cheeky wall bang on an enemy hiding. The choice is yours, and each one has their own niche. Anyways, that about sums up class synergy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Also, thank you guys so much for the support lately on my videos. I love communicating with you guys in the comment section. Your likes are always appreciated as well. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content and gameplays. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one.